So for today's topic, it's a purchase group control and stop alert level and reorder. So first, we will start for the, so it will got two parts. First part is the purchase group control. So for the purchase group control, the, this module actually available in the Dynamo Enterprise license only. La. But standard and pro license need add on this module. So actually this already released on 2016.1 build 40 already. So I think this around got four to five year idea for this module. So I think some of the dealer or user that do not got this function at Dynamo. So there's a great feature that make at once control on purchase that will be easier to search the stock for st the stock and supplier. <coughs> With these features, company management are allowed to distribute purchaser in different purchase group. So the purchaser only allowed to view some of the transaction or report or selected stock and suppliers are related and they are under their own purchase group. So based on this one, our the, con the concept for the purchase group control actually uh, got three levels. The first level actually want to avoid the purchaser collude with the seller, earn some of the profit from the company, and then protect company sources of goods. The second level, manager and supervisor. So this one is quick determine a person in charge for specific goods and shorten time of allocate human resources. Purchasers is uh, responsible for, for allocate the goods and transaction on here. So this is the basic uh, concept for the purchase group control. So what's the benefit uh, for purchase group control? Actually, uh, purchase group control is suitable for many industry uh, for purchase raw material and supplies, but it's a common practice in the grocery, healthcare, electronic, industrial, manufacturing and the agriculture industry. All activities are standardized. Huh? Then uh, staff just need to focus on their current stock and purchase group. So, and then the staff can be trained in purchasing and how to minimize the costs. S suppliers also can know uh, where, uh, actually purchasers also can know where to where and whom to contact, which make a supplier contact much easier. And purchasing staff can build good relationship with the buyer or the supplier. So, and then the volume purchase and delivery to reduce cost and time. So this is the benefit for the purchase group control. Okay. On the purchase group control, we can separate for two small title, small subject, small topic. Uh, they say under the purchase group control stock and transaction visibility, and then the purchase stock control by supplier SKU. So for this one, we will uh, start to this, uh, talk about the purchase group control stock and transaction visibility first. So actually this one, we can set up at the Dynamo, the company default setting under the common module set up company default setting here, you try to enable this one. So, but you, when you enable this one, you have to make sure the, the user license got uh, this one purchase group control. If no activate, you take this one. I think you cannot take this one up because here, I, it, it will dim. If let's say you don't have this license, the option here will dim. Okay. So if got these features, so you can try to go to purchase group setting there to do the purchase group setting at the supplier module set up there. If no license, when you click this one purchase group, it will prompt this uh, no license, uh, no license. So have to subscribe the purchase group control. So this one have to take note of course, this one is under the enterprise license only. Okay, so under the purchase group, 
here we have to set the group first, then set the user who can uh, assign the user under this group you want to setting, and then the stock group for the user as well. So yeah, under this one purchase group, you have to assign the user and for which stock group. So how it works? Uh, so based on the scenario here, we can separate to the inventory at the, we have to set two, two things first. One is the stock item there, and then one is the system user there. So we have to assign the item under a stock group, which the user want to assign for the user. So based on here, we have two group item, group A and group B. And then inside the group A, we got six item. Group B got, uh, sorry, group A got three item. Group B also got three item. That means here, total six item here, we separate to two group. And then under the user there, we also have to set two group as well. So got the purchase, uh, purchase group A and purchase group B. And then one of the, user is the manager level one. So based on just now, if let's say after you assign this, uh, after you setting all this well, then you have to go to the purchase group there to assign the user under which group. For example, the purchaser group A, we have to set the user under the purchaser to involve the group A product stock group A product. And then purchaser group B, we have to assign the purchaser group B and the manager as well. And then as, uh, under the stock group B product. So the stock group actually uh, is the item maintenance, uh, stock maintenance there that stock group. Uh. So have to make sure the when stock maintenance there got set up the stock with the stock group as well. For just now the scenario, that means this kind of the setting. So purchaser group uh, A, A1, A2, A3, this three user actually is under purchaser group A. When they create a supplier invoice, they're able to view the stock group A item only because they are under the purchase group A. This will be easier for them to select the item. Cost based on the just now, actually we got six items. So if let's say you assign the, these three user under the purchaser, purchase group A, then uh, when they want to do the purchase order or purchase any document, they select the item only can see these three item only. So it will not to, uh, to do the PO. So this one have actually have to take note. Uh. Here actually got a purchase group ID. You have to assign the purchaser group A. If let's say uh, this user, uh, now this three user is under the purchaser group A. Uh. Okay, so based on just now, this one purchaser group A, so when, if let's say here you select the purchaser group B, then you will see the purchase uh, all the product for the stock group B, uh, stock group B product. Okay, so here is the, so when, when the user want to do the things, have to make sure the group that select the correct one, but based on the here, actually usually just can select for as if let's say the user is under the purchaser group A, purchase group ID, that one. So only can, they actually can only assign under their group only. You cannot assign to another group unless the user got assigned uh, to group like the manager. This one, manager, for this manager, actually they can assign under, they got under group A and group B. So when they select, they can select group A and for or the group B for the manager. But for the purchase, uh, A1, A2, A3, or B1, B2, 
they can select for group A, if let's say for the group A1 user to select the purchase group ID. Okay, for scenario two, purchaser A1, A2, A3, create a supplier invoice, they just want to view their purchase group A suppliers, uh, supply invoice only. So this one, when the A1, A2, A3, they, after they create a supplier invoice, they only can preview or search their invoice only, cannot search the B1 or B2. That's why, uh, here uh, just now our topic here is the uh, when they when you add, set this one enable purchase group control stock and transaction visibility that's why here you enable this function so they only can see the transaction for their group only others you cannot see so here you can see this one is created by a1 so when great a, a group purchaser group a they only can view this Two only. Oh. If purchaser group B, they only can assign, can see the group B document only. So for the manager, we can see both together. Because oh. uh, the manager got assigned under the group A and group B. Okay, for scenario three, this one for the report as well. So when the print the invoice listing, for the purchaser group A. So that they can see the this, this thing for the group A. So here, even don't have to do any filtering, directly can search for them. They no need to purposely to search for which supplier, then uh, which product, which document, they no need to, they directly to review. So, uh, for the processor group A, they directly can see for group A listing or group B or for the group B listing only. So this will be uh, more easier for them. So for the manager, you can see oh, if let's say for manager have to filter la cost manager under two uh, group also got assigned for this manager. So at the summary of the scenario, when insert any purchase document transaction like supply invoice or PO or anything, uh, for purchase site document, Dynamo will based on the purchasers assigned purchase group to retrieve the relevant stock item. When preview any purchase report listing, Dynamo also will based on purchaser assigned purchase group to retrieve the relevant transaction to prevent to present it for them. At the purchase cycle transaction screen, like the purchase plan, uh, purchase quotation from supplier, purchase order, good receive note, good return note, supplier invoice, supplier credit note, supplier, supplier debit note, uh, actually got added control purchase group ID to control the invisible when company setting disabled. What is this meaning is for just now this, this last one purchase cycle transaction screen uh, added the new control purchase group ID is this one purchase group ID. So just now if let's say got enable this function at the company default setting there. So when do the purchase any document, you will see here got a purchase group ID. So user have to select their under what uh, purchase group user. So if let's later this one, uh, this slide we will uh, send for you. So you can check on the release look here on our e-support. For further information, you can check from there, okay? So here we've got some tips. Once enable the group purchase group control, every time create new stock, it will prompt a message to alert user want to assign new stock group to purchase group or not. So when you add at the stock maintenance there, once you add a new stock group, 
you will prompt this one do you want to assign new grid stock group to purchase group if you click yes you will prompt this one to assign the user this uh this stock group under which purchase group okay once enable the purchase group control when insert supplier invoice on half then you change the purchase group id this one system will prompt the message to us clear all selected stock on that time document entry that means here when you key in until half so you suddenly change if let's say the like for the example for just now the manager they got a uh, assign group a and group b so when they halfway to change they will prompt this one off change the purchase group id will clear all the selected stock that means here after you change this one these two items you will clear because here actually uh is the stock uh, purchase group a ma. you suddenly change to group b group b is uh, not uh, don't have this group a product so sure the system will clear this for you then uh to to do the group b product on it okay so now after just now the purchase group control that one so now we also got another purchase group controlled by the supplier sku okay for here how we set up the purchase group by supplier sku for just now we enable the upside that one if let's say you got take this one purchase stock group controlled by supplier sku as well so you can enjoy this function and then have to make sure this one also got the purchase group control license as well la. so that means either these two uh, options you have to purchase this license okay so here when you set up the supplier and enable the stock by supplier sku here if you got the license you can take this one if you know license actually if you here you put no show the no license and you if let's say you take here you if no license will prompt a message like this and then company default setting here you have to enable lock. that means uh if you want to take this one so have to take this one first okay so after you set up this one here actually our supplier this button more here we got a supply stock this one supply stock actually uh if let's say this supplier got supply any stock we want to uh assign the stock item for this supplier so here we can set the supplier sku that means okay for this one item uh, at the stock maintenance day we set this b1 but supplier got their own sku you want to insert to let your staff to know when they key in the purchase invoice so they can uh, set the supplier sku to here then we can set the supplier price how much they purchase uh, how much you purchase from them and then here we can set the purchase priority among supplier maybe this product uh, b1 got few supplier you want to set which supplier is the user sub first priority one you can assign to here and then they can add to some of the remark here okay actually what we set at the supply stock there we link this this one actually will link to uh, stock maintenance there we also got a function supplier who supply the stock here also got insert also can insert the supply sku as well so for just now for this supplier b i already set from here already supply stock that when you come to this stock maintenance the b1 here you click this one supplier who supply the stock 
Here actually you can see this item already set uh, under the supplier B after we set here. Or if let's say you want to set here first, after you set here, here's the supplier here also can see, uh, you click the supply stop, you also can see here is the same things from what you set from here. That's mean test two is linked together one. Okay. You can see just now what we set, what I set, so it will link together. That's mean here, so one, one side you set, another side you see the things or the result at there. That's mean you no need to set both sides. Okay, how it works. For this scenario, uh, I got two supplier, one with enable, enable, one is disable for this one. So based on this scenario, supplier A got supply three stock item, which also set the supplier SKU as well, but purchase stock by supplier SKU is unchecked. That means I got set the supply stock under here for supply A, but I don't have take this one purchase stock by SKU. For supplier B, I got this same thing. Supplier B got supply three item as well. So, but this one I got check. This one purchase stock by supply SKU. Okay. During insert the supplier invoice from supplier A. Below is the different situation between got, uh, insert by stock ID or by supplier SKU. So for the supplier A, when I insert the invoice, if let's say I use this one stock ID to do the insert product. So here we'll show all the stock ID, not the supplier stock. A, uh, stock for supplier A only. If let's say I here I put the search the product from the supplier SKU, here we can see this one by supplier SKU only. That means just now uh, I got set the supplier A this three product. If let's say here I got set this one, I got set the, the setting when I search the supplier SKU, you will see this, but for stock ID cannot filter, you have to the user have to see which product by their own self. But for supplier B, just now I got take this one purchase stock by SK, supplier SKU. When they uh, search the product, either the stock ID or the supplier SKU, it will see the same things. So it will not confuse for user. Even they use the stock ID to search, then they only can see three, these three items. For supplier SKU, the column, we can see also that's three items. That means uh, it will be more easier for them. No confusing. If not, you see, uh, you just now you know that uh, they have to must use the supplier SKU to do the in, insert the invoice or PO. PO. <clears throat> so, Summary for this, uh, if the supplier setup got added the stock item with the supply SKU at the supply stock or stock maintenance, or added the stock item with the supplier SKU. So uh, supplier who supply the stock when key in the supply invoice column, supplier SKU only will show the stock item which have set. So this is what I mentioned here. Okay, if the supplier setup screen that purchase stock by SKU got the check, then when key in the supply invoice, even use the stock ID column, search the item, it will show the item which got insert the supply SKU only. Then it will reduce the stuff to key in wrong stock item. So, so far, this is the purchase group control uh, have to, you have to know. Lah. So if let's say you want to further information, here I also got the link you can click in to help the, our Flatdash e-support to, to check it. So second, we will talk more about the stock alert and stock reorder. 
So for the stock alert and stock reorder, actually you can see it on our stock maintenance screen. Usually we set the product, we will, I think some of the user or they will ask uh, what is this setting? What should they do? Because uh, for the standard use, standard like standard user, we actually just ask them to create a spot ID, a uh, barcode, uh, and then key in the description or put a selling price on it. So if let's cause this one usually uh, depends on the user like uh, if they got want to see the alert level or the reorder setting, then they can use up. Uh, we can train, but some. User, if they said they don't have you, even we train also, uh, it will less of the interesting for them now, cause they even we talk so much, so they will see it actually not helpful for them. But actually, it's very helpful for them. But they depends on the user, what kind of the user you facing. Uh. <clears throat> so. What is the benefit for this one? Uh, actually, used to control either the company or individual outlet minimum quantity. We can set the maximum purchase quantity or reorder quantity. And then we can set the maximum or minimum selling price for better pricing and the stock level control. So that means here we can set the item minimum selling price is how much for this then maximum selling price or the purchase minimum selling purchase uh, purchase price, minimum purchase price, uh, maximum purchase price we can set. So this one, it will also alert when the stock reach the minimum quantity for salesperson purchaser to take reorder. So, and then it can control and monitor the purchaser maximum item quantity price purchase to reduce the fraud and over purchase of the items. Actually here, based on this setting here, we mostly the function to have effect on our dynamo. For the minimum selling price, it will affect at the post system. If let's say you got the post user there, you got set uh, not allowed less than the minimum selling price, if you got check here, when the poll system, the item selling less than the min this minimum price, it will prompt the message, is it want to allow the user to proceed or cannot proceed. For other, the function mostly on the dynamic journey. So here we got the, as just now the topic here, cost got the alert level and the reorder. So we will split to two topic easier for you understand. So for the stock alert level, actually it's a setting when the selling price or purchase price over the minimum or maximum value which has been set. That means this one, if let's say we got set, it will can uh, prompt the alert message when they hit the amount like this, less than the, this amount or more than this amount. So when doing the related transaction system, we prompt the message to alert when they save the transaction or document. Stock alert level also will alert for the quantity on selling or purchasing when doing the related transaction like sales cycle or purchase cycle. And then not even the control for the company level, stock alert level also can control by individual location. Okay. For here, if let's say you've got set this kind of setting, uh, when they soft set the transaction document, they will prompt the message like this. Okay. And then as just now I mentioned, not only for the company level, we can also can set the locate by location. Cause based on the main screen here, we set is by company level. If let's say some of the user got few outlet they want to control by the outlet, that means you can set from here location stock alert level. So here you can see all the location which you want to set by the selling le uh, alert level minimum value 
same, actually it is same, but here you can control by every location. Okay, how we do the setup. So for this one, price minimum value. If let's say here you set the figure. So when the user use this, when the item sell less than this amount, you will prompt a message to let the user know the selling price is less than the minimum selling price. So this one, uh, later I will show you a sample how it's doing. Cause uh, this one less than the, how come we set this one? Uh? Cause if the price less than the allowed, the minimum price, it will make, it will cause the uh, company will do some of the losses cost. Uh, it will sell lower than the expected margin. That means maybe the item is a selling 10 ringgit, maybe the cost is the 5 ringgit. If I say here, maybe you can set a file, then user will not selling less than the margin. Okay. Sell mess. How about this one? This one is a price sell maximum value. That means uh, for this one, if let's say the selling price more than the selling maximum value, so this will prevent the actually this one want to prevent the user oversell the item might bring some of the negative image to company or against the company and government price control policy. That means this item actually selling 10 ringgit, maybe some of the stuff they go to selling more than 10 ringgit. So if you not good low cost, actually your product is 10 ringgit, how come you sell more than the price? So this one would prevent the stuff sell over the price. Okay, and then the price minimum value. This one actually used to alert or block the user when purchase price is less than the minimum purchase value. So user will get alert when the purchase price is dropped and then can take necessary action like the lower the selling price as well to be the more competitive market. That means when they set the transaction for the PO or DO day or invoice, when they set, they will prune okay, this hum, how come the price is cheaper already. So it will be, I, cost, uh, maybe the supplier got give some of the offer, then maybe got cheaper. Lah. But sometimes uh, they can see, is it can compare to other, uh, some of the, another supplier, is it the price can lower or not? And then here we got the price purchase best value. This one is alert or block the user when the purchase price is more than the maximum purchase value. So this one uh, user can alert the purchase price is increased and then also can take the necessary action like increase the selling price as well. Cause you will know the price is higher, the purchase price is higher already. Then maybe you can take action to, in, to increase the selling price. Huh? Then company will, will not lose the margin or stop to purchase the source from another supplier cost the price is higher edema. So user also can compare to other supplier to get the cheaper cost price as well. Since now you key in the things is higher than the purchase price or your, your set the purchase price higher already. So you, user can find another better supplier that can get the cheaper purchase price. And then quantity on sale, we can set the quantity. Uh, if let's say you got set this one, user will, uh, when they set the transaction, will prompt the message, the balance quantity is less than the level during the selling. Uh. That means here, maybe you set zero, then you enable. That means when your company, the product is uh, around two, but the transaction there you set 
you set, uh, you, you key in three. So you will less one product. So when they're less than the pro less when the product is less than the zero. So here we prompt the message. So actually this alert you to indicate the whether the stop balance is allowed negative. Like last time the smart SQL there, we can set the allow negative that function. Actually, now you can set on here to do the same setting. Lah. So it will also to prevent the stop balance less than the system balance quantity. And then quantity on purchase. This one is alert or block the user when balance quantity more than the level during purchase. So typically this alert the user indicate whether the stock balance is over the system balance quantity or also will pre prevent the user keep too much stock. That's mean here you set here. So uh, can prevent the user uh, don't have to purchase so much. If not purchase too much, then your stock will over already. So all the chess, even what you set from the value here, what you set, you have to take the enable. If you don't have take the enable, what you set here will not got a function. So that means what you after you set, you have to remember take the checkbox for to enable this function. So it will more facility. So maybe some of the user want to use this price minimum selling price. Then you just take others no use. Then you can just put and take off. So it's more flexible. Okay. So based on just now this kind of the setting, uh, when the user set just from the just from the message to alert. But if let's say com, uh, want to completely to block the user, to, the user staff don't want to, uh, mm. to, to, to take action for this. So we can set the setting at the user system user group control there for the dynamo user. Based on the user group here, got the stop. Then here you can. Take off. If let's say you got take the chat box here, that means they can, once they uh, see the prompt message, they still can proceed. If you untake the fun, untake the chat box here, like the minimum selling price, when the user set the transaction, got prompt the message, uh, the price is lower than the selling price. So if let's say you untake, that means that they, they cannot to proceed after to cannot proceed to set the document when the message from up. So this is the sample. So for here, the sample is, if let's say here you got take the checkbox, when you take the confirm, uh, when you set as a confirm, system will proceed to set. If you uncheck here, you will prompt the message like access denied, you don't have the access right to confirm document that contain the stop balance because this one is a stop balance quantity less than the alert level. So this, this you see the message like this. So uh, here I will explain some of the scenario for the sales cycle transaction. Here, if let's say for here, I got set the selling price minimum is 90 ringgit. So I got checked. The maximum selling price is 100 ringgit. I got checked. So the selling price is 100 ringgit. And then the quantity on sale, I put zero. Okay. When I save the invoice, if the selling price I put is 89, here you can see stock minimum selling price alert list. Here you can see. The minimum selling price just now I set is 90 ringgit. So it will prompt the message. The selling price is 90. So system utility is allowed to proceed when the amount is lower than 90. Okay, here the stock balance alert list cost this one is one. I put the for invoice here is one. When I save, 
cost of balance is now is zero. But here you want to uh, cost here output one. Uh, you want to put uh, selling one. So here we will let you to know your alert level is zero. If let's say you really want to confirm this one, uh, this transaction, at the end, the balance will be negative one. Cost now is a zero. So you out quantity one. Then at the end, the final will be negative one for the stock. That means uh, here, the look is the zero. So if let's say you put one here, that means you want to sell, then if let's say you want to proceed, still can proceed. But at the end, the balance will be negative one already. Okay, for the maximum selling price alert, cost just now the item is 100 ringgit. So if let's say here, you sell the price more than 100, also will prompt the message. So this is the flow for the sales cycle. So stock alert level will involve on what which document like for this one price these two settings uh, uh, will affect on quotation sales order cash sales do delivery return customer invoice debit note and credit note for the alert level on sell this part okay it will affect on cash sales do customer invoice and debit note. So they has to take note what you said will affect on what document. So another scenario is for the purchase cycle transaction. So this is what I said. So the purchase price minimum is put 70, maximum is 85. And then the quantity on purchase, I put 100. So when I set the supplier invoice or purchase invoice, the price I put 69, it will prompt the message cost the minimum is 70. That means uh, it, will sh it will prompt the message cost the price is lower than I set. And then the quantity I put 100. So this one here you can see quantity on purchase is 100 has been enabled and current balance quantity is one unit. So this is the current system balance quantity. Once I key in the 100, so it will over the level already. Because after I save this one, it will become 101. Here, that's why system will prompt the message to alert. Is it want to proceed? So if the access right just now got stake for the maximum uh, quantity uh, quantity on purchase, it will it will prompt the message. Oh. But if you untake, then they cannot proceed. Oh. They will prompt the message, cannot set the document. Okay. So for the purchase price. Maximum. So I just now got set the price maximum is 85. So when the purchase amount more than the this pricing, they will also prompt the message. So if let's say you have set these two settings, you have to take note for the document. PO, good receive note, good return note, supply invoice, debit note, and credit note as well. And then if let's say you got set this one, so got three document to affect. Okay. So here I will show the scenario with the user group control. Here, same as just now, what I set at the scenario one, but we add one more for this one to control. Here I 
I'm take all the for this setting. Here, since I got enable this tree, so here I untake at the user group setting there, not allowed to proceed. So when the user under this user group, when they set the document got involved this tree setting, since the user is not allowed to set the document. This is the setting. So just now that part is the stop alert level. So for stop reorder is to include the setting easier to observe the minimum stop quantity level when we view the reorder listing. So it also able to set the maximum stop quantity level then won't cause the stop over purchase. And then stop reorder could set the reorder level to assist fill up the top up value based on the current stop balance quantity or set reorder default value to top up the stop level based on the value. And then not even set by company, stop reorder also can set by individual location or outlet same as just now the stop alert level. So this is the screen for the stop reorder. Okay, for just now here also send the stop maintenance there, the stop alert level actually also include the stop reorder setting as well. So it actually is same things up. Maybe here we just put the stop alert level. Some of the users will think okay, reorder. How about the reorder? Actually, it's the same screen. Okay. So how we do the setup? So for here, usually this one actually is the balance quantity. It means it's a current existing balance quantity. Okay, for the minimum quantity here is the stop reorder hints when the balance less than this level. So the balance quantity fall below the reorder minimum quantity, the reorder stop listing will appear the item for reorder purpose. Cost based uh, at our Dynamo Day inventory module report that site, we got a stop reorder listing. So if let's say you got set this kind of the setting when uh, you submit, you set the function, uh, less than the minimum quantity, then you will see what item have to reorder or since it's hit the minimum quantity level. Okay, and then maximum quantity. Maximum quantity actually is a maximum balance quantity could be to uh, up to this value during the fast reorder process at the purchase order. So later on, I will show you how to use this uh, minimum quantity and maximum quantity as well. Okay, so for the reorder level, reorder quantity will be filled up to this level during the first reorder process at the purchase order there. So this setting for reorder when perform the reorder at purchase order system will calculate and auto fill up the quantity from the current balance top up until this reorder level. That means if let's say here I got balance 20 quantity, reorder level I put 100, system will fill up 80 for you when you do the reorder. Okay, and then this one reorder default value. This one default reorder quantity value also uh, use, we're using at the first reorder process at the purchase order there. This setting for reorder will when perform the reorder system, we'll always use this reorder default value for quantity purchase. So for this one, later on, I also will show at the scenario there how to use this kind of function. Okay. For the normal, re normal level, actually it's indicated uh, of the balance quantity as a reference when whether the on the this normal level, 
means the quantity must usually within the minimum and the normal level. Okay. To improve the user experience for the stock alert level and the stock reorder, Dynamo have few modules or report listing would assist the user to use it more efficiently. Like the purchase order there, we got a function is called fast reorder. When do the reorder at the purchase order, fast reorder will have a column to advise the order quantity for the user. And then the stock reorder listing there, a report to filter the stock balance. If less than the minimum quantity, it will you can see the report there. If let's say the balance is less than the minimum quantity, so user can base on the report to do the reorder. And then the stock alert level updated. This is the bug update fill stock item together for the item need to set the stock alert level and reorder level. Okay, for the purchase order just now, actually, here is the way to go, supply module, transaction, and purchase order. Here inside the purchase order, we got a function called fast reorder. Here we can see as what just now we set the minimum quantity and the maximum quantity. So, and then if let's say the advice type here, you use the stock reorder level. So here we show the column for the other level. If let's say the user want to use the just now cost, we got two types of the reorder. And another type is the reorder default value. If let's say they use the reorder default value, then here the advice type here will show based on the re reorder default value to do advice for the user how many quantity have to do the re to do the ordering. Then here also got the type cost. We got two types alert level. One is the by company, another one is the by location. So here also can uh we can select the option. And then if let's say the user uh really want to use this advice quantity to do the order, then we can take take order as per advice quantity. Okay. So another just now, this is the PO, the first one. The second stock reorder listing. So system also ready the stock reorder listing. Easier to do the observation if the stock balance quantity less than the minimum quantity. So value which has been set at the stock maintenance. So here actually before you preview the report, it will show all the stock. What have to do the reorder? But if let's say you want to do one more setting, to if let's say the you want system to show the balance less than the minimum level, that's mean this one. If let's say you set the minimum quantity, you got set this one. So when you this one stop reorder this thing you can set yes for here means here if you show if the item less than just now the quantity you already keep insert there so you will prom you will show the report under the minimum quantity only okay another one is the stock alert level <coughs> updater this one, but update fill stock item together one. So here, this one will be easier to maintain the stock alert level or stock reorder. So no need to do amendment by individual item as stock maintenance. <coughs> after done all the setting, after done all the listing here, at the end, you have to click cost. After you key in all the things here, you save uh system will not directly to update to your actual stock maintenance there so you have to click more here here you hit uh hidden one function is the 
update to actual stock alert level. So if let's say you update all the things, you will not directly to affect the stock there. So you have to click this one, then only to update to the stock maintenance, the actual stock there. So that means here you have to take note, of, cause some of the user think, I already set here already, but how come no affect uh, stock maintenance there? So this one you have to take note. Of. Okay, how it works for the scenario? Okay, so we got the setting like this one. So here we will show you the reorder first reorder at the purchase order there. So currently this item, the balance is 25. So I set the minimum quantity before it's the 30. Maximum quantity is 100. Reorder level is 90. Reorder default value is 2. Normal level is 40. Okay. When I do the reorder, so have to take note this part, we always will see the net balance. So company balance will be this balance quantity. And then if let's say a uh, sales order still got the outstanding quantity or the PO still got the outstanding quantity. So system, the calculation will be like this company balance deduct minus the SO balance plus PO balance equal to be the net balance. And then the minimum quantity as what I said just now, maximum quantity also same. And then here you can see the advice type. Now you see this one is the reorder level. That's why here we show the reorder level. If let's say here you select the reorder default value, here we show the reorder default value. Okay, for here. Okay. So when we do the first reorder by reorder level here, so cost this one item balance is 25 now. So the minimum quantity should be 30. And then the maximum quantity is 100. So when I use reorder level, so reorder level just now says is 90. So uh, reorder will, the calculation will be like this. Reorder 90, uh, level is 90 units. And then the net balance is 25. So 90 minus 25, that's why here advice will be 65. That means here, uh, when if let's say you use this reorder level, system will uh, compare the different the reorder level between the net balance to get the advice for you. If let's say the user want to take this advice, then we can take here. Then when they take the purchase order they will auto fill up the order to be the PO quantity there. Okay. Another one is if let's say you want to use this one reorder default value. So uh, here how the calculation to be 31. Okay. Reorder default value if let's say I just now set is 2 and then the net balance is 25. Minimum quantity is 30. So when, when use this uh, reorder default value system will based on the existing balance 25 plus two unit, two unit time, no? two, four, six like that. Two or four or six until the, this one, uh, you, the, the quantity hit the minimum quantity. So that's why here we'll show 31. If let's say you want to hit the limit uh, until the actual 30 minimum quantity, maybe the reorder default, default value, you can set one. So it will time, 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 time until 30 units. That's why here the reorder default value 
this uh, uh, more this one will be more a bit uh, depends on the supplier what offer they give then they can take the reorder this setting so that's why here I will ask why the advice is 31 unit cost the minimum quantity is 30 so that's why the reorder default value will pass two until hit the minimum quantity level if let's say you can't if you add plus two plus two so at at the end is 29 still not yet hit the minimum quantity that's why your system will plus one more to be 31 so this one also got an, another scenario is if let's say the reorder default value you set uh the value is too big maybe i show you the another sample so here you can see the dynamo here okay so if let's say i use this sample okay Wait a B3. Okay, this one also as the sample just now is the 25 balance, 35 uh, minimum quantity, 100 maximum, and then the reorder level is 90, but the reorder default value is 80. That is uh, another sample. So Based on this scenario, the company balance is 25. So the minimum quantity is 35. So if let's say we use the, the order level, it will show 90 to minus 25 become 65 for the reorder level. If let's say use the reorder default value, okay, you can see system because the reorder level default value is 80. So if let's say you the balance currently is 25, then I got set this one maximum is 100. So for this scenario should be, if let's say the maximum quantity you didn't set 100, maybe set more than 100, like uh, 200. So here will be 80 plus 25 become 105, but you can see the advice why 100. Cost here already set the maximum quantity is 100. That's why 25 plus 80 should be the LY should be 105. So here we system will uh, give the LY is 100. Cost you set this one. Uh, I set this one already. So this is the minimum and quantity, minimum and maximum different. If let's say here the default value you set to uh, the, the value is bigger, then when hit the quantity uh, near the maximum system will give the advice for the maximum quantity only. So this is the way we set the reorder default value. So for just now you can see, uh, if let's say you want to take 100 at the order, you can take, so system will fill in 100 for you. Then you click order, system will auto fill up 100 for you so this is the way we use the reorder at the purchase order here so thanks for today training so this is the uh, our training section for the purchase group control